Hello. Hans von Trient. A true story of what happened in Lucerne in May 1559. It is about Hans von Trient, the stonemason, Lux Ritter, the major and mercenary leader, and the Ritterschen Palace in Lucerne. Before I go ahead, please be informed that today I tell the story as it reads in the Wikiana by Johann Jakob Wick. The Wikiana, the, this is just a part of it, the Wikiana is a news collection uh, written by Johann Jakob Wick. <clears throat> and Jan, Johann Jakob Wick looked like this. He was a Lutheran priest at the Großmünster in Zurich. At that time, Catholic Lucerne and Reformed Zurich were enemies and we fought each other. So we, we have to consider that when hearing this story. Nevertheless, the Wikiana is a good and one of the only sources about Hans von Trient. Schultheis, Schultheis means major. So Schultheis looks Ritter planned to build a huge palace. If God had not shortened his life, and the house had not just been built up to a fathoms above the ground, there would be nothing comparable in the Confederation nor in the German nation. Wherever Luxrit knew or heard of excellent craftsmen, he called them to work for him. So he also did not want to miss Hans von Trient, an outstanding, far and wide known stonemason. Hans von Trient came to Lucerne to talk to Lux Ritter and to discuss the conditions. When everything seemed well, Hans von Trient mentioned to Lux Ritter that he has another religion and it could be dangerous for his life to come to Catholic Lucerne. He said that he is forced to reject the offer. Lux Ritter replied, don't worry, be silent and don't talk about your religion to others, so nothing bad or no advantage, no disadvantage will happen to you. So Hans agreed and they made a contract reading that he will get a salary consisting of four crowns every four weeks, eating and drinking at the table of Lux Ritter, accommodation, everything one needs for a daily life. Hmm. Both were happy and Hans gladly started working. Then it happened that Lux Ritter was called to arms by the French king. Lux told Hans to go ahead with the work while he is away. Lux needed someone to look after his house since he had chased off, he had chased his wife off the house. So Lux asked Hans to look after the household during his absence. Lux Ritter offered to increase the salary by two crowns per week for the time he is away. Hans gladly agreed and continued working. And Lux went on to the Picardy War in France. Lux came back 14, 14 weeks later and salary payment was due. At the same time, the Musek Walls procession took place and a pastor from Hertenstein was in town. After the procession, Lux Ritter invited the pastor to have a meal. So Lux, the priest and Hans had supper together. When Lux had eaten and drunk well, he started to provoke Hans. He asked Hans to tell about his religion. He also asked the priest to find out what kind of religion Hans could have. Hans said, that he is not here to dispute and that he has been promised to be left in freedom. Lux Ritter got angry and after a good drink he said to the priest, he said to the priest that Hans has a heretical faith and that he does not confess and so on. Afterwards Lux Ritter felt sorry but he could not go back. He had to retain what he had said. Then Hans von Trient got angry and asked for vacation and payment of the salary. 
Luxritter refused to pay the additional amount of 28 crowns, a reason while he was away. Lux told Hans to be happy with what was agreed at the beginning. Hans von Trient did not want to hear anything like this, and so they went to court. At that time, the court and the council was the same. When Hans had his claim on the council, Lux Ritter stood up and accused him of being heretic. Other council members nicely asked Lux Ritter to pay what is due and to let the craftsman go his way. But this was not meant to happen. So the story went on. The council was forced to arrest Hans von Trient and to start investigations. Hans von Trient was put into prison in the water tower on the chapel bridge. According to the Wikiana, we uh, Lucerne spread lies about Hans von Trient. At the end, Hans von Trient was found guilty of heresy and sentenced to death. On Monday before White Sunday in the year of 1559. Hans praised the Lord and asked to bring new and pretty clothes to the water tower. Then he listened to the verdict, nicely dressed in new clothes. On the way to the execution place, passing by the house of Lux Ritter, Hans stood still, looked at the building and said, If I had not asked for what is mine, this would not have happened to me. Major Ritter is guilty of my dad. You will not finish this house, and within three days you will do likewise like I do now. Okay, on the execution place the priest talked insistently to Hans von Trient, but he did not listen to them. Undaunted, he looked around, kneed down, looked towards heaven and said, Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me. To your will I will suffer this dead. Then he stretched his head and it fell off. Three days later, Lux Ritter died. A strong fever overcame him. He had eaten and drunk with no control. And in his fullness and drunkness, he and his boys jumped into the cold water at the time of early mass. Having come, having come home, he took a warm bath. After a while in the bathtub, a strong fever overcame him and it looked like that he will die right away. He became rigid and passed away seven hours later. After his death, Lux Ritter got fined by the Council of Lucerne in the amount of 4,000 crowns for having cut more wood than he was allowed to. Okay, this is a story as it is written in the Wikiana. Thank you.